This is The Eye of the Needle 2022. I'm Randy Moggins, and this is Off Planet Radio. We are going to go into a message that I am releasing as quickly as possible from the receivers that was received last evening on the uh, nighttime hours of uh, February 25th. As I was working to continue transcribing uh, the next transceivers segment of the series, Next World Part 2, um, I've been working on this transcription for about 10 days. It's complex, challenging, and presents a lot of new concepts in the uh, overview of, of the receiver's material. Um, I had previously been working on it last weekend when I was taken ill with an intestinal virus, so the course of this week, uh, with several interviews scheduled, um, I was kind of forced into working on this last evening. I began writing, and they asked me to insert a new heading into the file, which I did, and began transcribing the message that you're about to hear. Um, As you'll hear at the end of this message, they instructed me to remove this from the body of text of the uh, transcription I was working on and to place it into a separate file as a separate message to be released as quickly as possible and out onto the web. So we are putting this message out for first you who are the support on Patreon, and then we will take this also onto the internet via a uh, video format in um, Vimeo and YouTube. So we'll just launch into the message here. This has to do with the Ukraine and the intrigues that are now spiraling across the earth. Before we continue in our subject matter, we wish to address the present world concerns as regards the land of Ukraine and the intrigues of the globalists who failed to achieve their outcomes via the pandemic. The Tuesday to 2022 was, of course, another of their gematria rituals. This, the divination of certain of your historical sacred texts, the Kabbalah, and used by the bloodline occultists, is the pronouncement of spells, curses, and incantations. Your word, gematria, is an alleged cognate from the Aramaic gematria of the Greek word geomatria, or the world. Although we must add that the usage of this word only dates to your mid-17th century. Curious that. So letters and numbers and numbers are letters. Your world system is the product of language and mathematics. Now understand that wisdom forbids nothing. Your race is enticed by the forbidden even as children seek out secrets to satisfy their precocious curiosities. That said, the enticements of entering into agreements with soothsaying is not without recourse and consequences. The elites successfully implanted the reality of this thing you call a virus by use of spellcraft, symbols, and images, even numbers and dates. Understand that your calendar system is itself a device of trapping the human collective psyche inside of ciphers, 
which they, through time manipulation and holographic inserts, constantly manipulate. For more on that, we invite you to see Eye of the Needle, Episode 7, The Editors, Temporal Resets and Holographic Inserts, A Brief Explanation of Time. The concept of your numbered years, months, and days is a contrivance of the very gridwork's overlay, which was erected several hundred thousand years ago during a previous major reset of your planet. The myriad of interpretations made by many pundits and pseudo-scholars regarding this recent numeric sequence, which we would set aside as a novelty value normally, is problematic as it is the basic concept of agreement, which is the operational target when major events are planned. When you align your energies with the velocity of evil intents, your consent is harvested as conscious energy which manifests the explicit commands encoded in such spellcraft. Because of the magnitude of cosmic energy, which has been transmitted onto the Earth since late 2019, unknowingly, your once latent powers of manifestation have been kindled. It was by methodologies of fear and deep psychosis via programming of the pandemic that these controller groups were so quickly able to commandeer the world system in the lockdowns. Recall, the word is the world in geometric etymology. What resulted was a clash of epic proportions which limited the desired impacts of the virus program and ignited another level of awakening as humankind, or at least its forerunners, refused consent to the edicts of the emergency bureaucracy. Unwittingly, many humans using the 2-22-2022 sequence began to invest energy into an opportunistic contrived program to manifest yet another such designer event to regain control of the dominant world contagion of fear, anger, and division. While we by no means wish to minimize the sufferings of the people of the Ukraine region, it must be understood that this event was a pre-planned trigger event which was greenlighted to continue the course of your globalist puppets' designs towards casting a permanent net over your entire world. Upon that same day that the controllers of Canada were forced to withdraw their emergency act after the trucker blockade in Ontario, they activated Mr. Putin to commence actions on the eastern borders of Ukraine. Understand that Mr. Putin, like Mr. Trudeau and many, but not all of your prominent world figureheads, are vassal state warlords from bloodlines of those whom you would call the immortal ones. They hold power at the behest of the off-world interdimensional entities which have invisibly enslaved your race for countless millennia. The devices of control upon your world are always based upon war, pestilence, and economic subterfuge, usually in combinations which wear at the cohesive threads of the human body politic. It is by erosion of your natural human bonds of empathy and cooperation that you are conquered. Moreover, there are ancient blood oaths which hold together the tenuous loyalties of states and nations upon the earth, and these being exploited artfully at opportune moments in even your last hundred years as your modern time is accounted. The roots of your first world war, that being called the war to end all wars, was triggered by these very ancient blood oaths and the assassination of the Archduke Franz Ferdinand, the presumptive heir of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, by a young Serbian zealot. The deep animosities between these old empire states of Austria, Hungary, and Serbia ignited World War I. It fed the fires of the Second Great World War, and even continued to bleed into the Bosnian conflict of the late 1990s. 
You willed as a powder keg of human emotions with fuses of deep mind control and blood rites at the ready to explode. The unhealed wounds of your generations fold back unto themselves endlessly, except they be purified and released. So while we share deeply the sorrow and shock which has precipitated this present conflict and earnestly hope for a resolution which would forestall a bloody and turbulent war from spinning into regional, even global conflict, we must again remind you each that your properly inclined prayers, meditations, emotions, and thoughts reflect an unalloyed devotion to the healing of humankind's most ancient roots of control which are based upon perceptions thought forms, demagoguery, and actions that no longer serve the human collective. Your political systems, media, and your own polarity feed the harvesting of unconscious energies which the unholy alliance, the apex predator, the off-world invisible presence, and the deep state symbiont hybrid bloodlines require to manifest into this realm. As a human race in this year of the 2022, you have not fully realized the tremendous toll of the pandemic medicalization programs, which yet are still to be unfolded in the coming years. The fires being fed now, those being the distorted interpretations of old biblical prophecies of a final world conflict, are explicitly targeting these ancient blood oath curses which have roots in the unconscious collective mind of your race. Indeed, the incantations broadcast around the world were rapid-fire neural networks of heavy doses of these ancient mind-control prophecies, though their fulfillment was never required for you to enter into a new world epoch. Conversely, it is the very opposite energies, those of unification, respect, and the abandonment of old oaths and curses, which held by a small but influential group of forerunners who quietly prevented such escalation over the last two years with assistance from higher beings, some of whom you may call angels. The slender thread of balance on your world stage is the invisible will of just such a contingency. The mass effects of media, Mobs and militarized madness require a resignation to more bloodshed, which endlessly feeds this non-human juggernaut. The frequencies of higher intention, the resolute will of the few, does indeed yield an efficacious effect to confound the intents of this inhuman force. You each must begin to hold in your consciousness the vision of a world which assumes the positive aspects of this impending age. Beware of the alliances of polarized thought, the tactics of media contrivances to tilt the collective passions towards either appeasement or bloodlust. You are in a war which is fought in parallel above you in the heavens. Your world has been a proxy for the unbridled passions are the lawless ones for eons now, and this must soon resolve as it is disruptive to the unfoldment of all beings in this dimensional construct. Your media, world leaders, and the architects of destruction have relied upon your each tacit agreements with spells to continue the marauding across this galactic system. Left unchecked, This viral madness would consume all that is holy, that being the very spark, a divine will which ignited your cosmos countless eternities ago. What you, each separately and in unity, agree upon can manifest. The peoples of planet Earth must by degrees heal and release the ancient ancestral blood oaths, the strife of unresolved violence, and the effects of deep hypnosis which bound you to the illusions of separation and conflict. We, 
as part of the continuum, which includes your own ancestors, have earnestly sought to speak to you over the ages in hopes of reminding you whom, what you truly are. You are the emanation of divine will. Their synthesis would be the enslavement of your collective into a simulacrum wherein you are disconnected from source, seemingly, and your own innate powers of creation forever. We speak to you now through many vessels secreted upon the earth to hold your hearts and minds towards resolution and unfoldment of your highest destiny upon this earth realm. Your world media has issued an evil report that this conflict will escalate towards what is called Armageddon in the revelations of John. This is a transgression of divine will and the attempt to negate the words and actions of the Son of Man who came to end these passions in the prior age. Indeed, all the avatars which were incarnated here have been corrupted by systems of religious feudalism which perpetuate this bloody spiral of enslavement by harnessing your divine powers of manifestation. Even your very thoughts hold power. We have dictated this message to our scribe in a session which holds the next chapter of our Next World series messages. We have asked them to separate this message from the body of that text and post it to the World Wide Web as an urgent plea to humanity to not consent to the intentions of the unholy alliance, which would again hurl your planet into a war of unspeakable destruction, can and must cancel these evil reports, the imaginations and images which feed their dark designs and fuel the passions of your fellow beings towards following an ignoble plan of depravity and enslavement. Your prayers, thoughts, imaginations, and your each separate then unified powers of manifestation must now direct outward as proclamations which disrupt the alien juggernaut's designs. This is not a religious doctrine nor any specious New Age platitude, but the actual faculties of your emanations of the cosmic unconscious. Many emissaries stand present as they have always to amplify your intentionalities and enforce your edicts to negate the spreading of evil reports which now fuel the smoldering woodpile of ancient dead and death energies kept alive by the unholy ones. Begin in your own hearts, in your own spheres of influence, to calm the inflamed passions of divisions and strife. Cast your potent imaginations towards peace and the boundless grace of the infinite eternal, however you envision it. Be vigilant of conspiracies which would lure you into ritual, which feeds this system. For even some well-meaning have become ensnared in doctrines of divination, which harness your divine free will. Stay grounded and listen more to the inner guiding, the whisperings of spirit. Avoid opinion, speculations, and dark utterings. Let the stillness, the very stillness, which is the voice of the central sun, become your solace and guide. We send you energies now from the heart of the cosmos. You must engage them with sobriety and a keen will to overcome this dark spell and infuse instead the prospects of a new world where the controllers are vanquished outer darkness and Earth regains its original blueprint for the highest achievements of all beings in nature. Let these be our prayers toward you all. As always we say, take from this that which is profitable, discard that which does not resonate. We are the receivers. We are your ancestors, soul groups, and aspect selves. We are you. Peace. This is Off Planet Radio. 